20% of young people in Denmark still haven't completed an education when they turn 25. This issue is not unique to Denmark. Many countries around the world face this issue of a large group of young people who never complete an education and remain on the margins of the labor market. In my research, I followed a group of young unemployed people in Denmark for a period of about 12 months, months to try to find out more about how we can better support these people into education or employment. I draw on a theory from psychology called self-determination theory. And uh, this theory uh, states that we have, as human beings, just like we have basic physical needs for food, sleep and sex, we have basic psychological needs. The need for autonomy, uh, to feel a sense of ownership of our own lives, the need for competence, to feel that we are able to effectively achieve our goals, and the need for relatedness, to feel that we are able to have a connection with other people, to have a sense of uh, community. In my research, I use this theory to understand better how people experience different uh, uh, things like meetings with caseworkers at job centers, uh, participation in courses, participation in, in uh, job placements. And my research can tell us something about how we can support, uh, how we can design better policies to support this group. Uh, we can design policies that support people's sense of autonomy by providing choices, by providing, uh, by providing support to people's own ideas and suggestions. And uh, we can support their sense of competence by making sure that the activities that they are uh, offered also match their skills. We can support their sense of relatedness by making sure that there's a trusting relationship between caseworkers and young people and that, and that we support their social networks. So the good news is that people are inherently motivated to act to improve their own lives uh, and to learn. All we need to do is to uh, support people's basic psychological needs. So there's no need for a lot of uh, rules that threaten people with sanctions, for example, withdrawing their benefits to try to motivate them to act to improve their lives. And this is not just the case for the young unemployed people that I've been following in my study. It's also the case for uh, children in primary school. It's the case for university students. It's the case for PhD students, like all of us. Uh, and it's the case for uh, workers in companies. In order for all of us to fulfill our potential, we need to create social contexts that support our basic psychological needs. The need for autonomy, the need for competence, and the need for relatedness. And that's my key message for you today. Thank you.